how do you see yourself uh, fitting in Dallas alongside Luca and KP? Um, you know, I think for me, um, just the way I'm able to shoot the ball, um, you know, I think I'm you know, going to be a value, valuable tool for Luca, um, you know, especially off picking rolls and finding shooters. Um, and also being a secondary ball handler for that role as well. Um, you know, finding, be, being able to create the space, the floor for um, Chris Stops is going to be important, I think. Um, so I think, you know, I'll be a very good fit for them. Thank you. Right, Townsend, please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, congrats on uh, being drafted and welcome to Dallas I'm with the Dallas Morning News. Uh, it sounds like you've kind of analyzed the Mavs a little bit. Uh, was this something you've anticipated? Were they one of the teams that were pretty high on your radar? Um, well, thank you for welcoming me to Dallas, first off. Um, and second, you know, to answer your question, yeah, uh, this is one of the teams where, um, you know, I knew it was a possibility that I could end up. Um, and it was a situation where I wanted to be in. Um, so, you know, I think, uh, you know, this draft went very well for, for me. Um, you, know, you know, I'm excited to go into Dallas and um, show them my work ethic and show them what I can do. And, and, and what was the most th- – did you meet them by Zoom or in person? You know, what, what stood out about the organization as you talked to them? Um, you know, I did meet, meet with them in Zoom uh, multiple times. Uh, you know, I took some assessments with them for them um, as far as, uh, you know, IQ goes. Um, but, you know, I think for me, um, you know, they see my fit with their uh, roster and I see my fit as well. And so for me to come in and just do my job, um, you know, I think that's all I can do. And I'm hoping, hopefully some success will be brought from that. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Chris Anderson, you have the next question. Go ahead, Chris. All right, Terrell, Terrell, congratulations on getting drafted to Dallas. Look forward to covering you. So I got a question for you. Great shooter, obviously. When you study film throughout your, you know, younger days and now getting into league, well, who were some shooters that you looked at for us, like the way to shoot, the craft, the form, different things of that nature? Um, you know, I think for me growing up, um, you know, I didn't really study shooting as much. Um, I think when I started to realize I was a, um, you know, a pretty prolific shooter, in my opinion, um, that's when I started, you know, studying film, you know, Clay, uh, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, um, you know, those type of guys. Uh, also, you know, Seth Curry, um, who was, um, you know, a member of the Dallas Mavericks uh, last year. And so um, I think, you know, I can see myself in a similar role as that. And so if I, studying the ways he, you know, he's able to get a shot off and the way he's able to, you know, maneuver on the offensive end is something I've been studying. All right, and a follow-up question real quick. I, I know you're excited just to get on the court with these guys, with Luka and KP, et cetera, but is there a particular matchup or a player that you're excited to face in this NBA? Because I know that, like, obviously you watch the game, and, and I'm pretty sure there's a player that you're looking forward to getting on the floor against and compete against. Yeah, um, you know, I don't think there's one that, uh, specific player that I'm, you know, m- most excited to go against. Um, but I think, uh, you know, for me, you know, being a young guy, uh, there's several players in this league that have been, um, you know, establish themselves since I was younger. And so to face them um, and show them what I can bring uh, to this league is, is something that I look forward to. Right, congratulations, man, by the way. Thank you. Mr. Do you have the next question, please? Go ahead. Yes. Hello, Daryl. Congratulations. What it means Thank for you, you to, to be in an organization with uh, a lot of young, uh, young guys and you, you are able to compete with players like Kristaps and uh, Luca on the practices? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's great for me to be on a roster with a lot of young guys, um, you know, to be kind of relate to them, um, and, you know, kind of, you know, learn from them. You know, they've only been in the league for, you know, several years, but I think there's a lot to learn from them, you know, me being, me being a rookie coming in. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of hungry guys on this roster, uh, me being, you know, one of them, you know, coming up. And so because I want to compete with these guys and um, show the NBA what we can do, um, I think it's something that I look forward to. And what result will make you satisfied at the end of the season? Uh, can you can you repeat that? Yeah. What result will will make you satisfied at the end of the season? Um, you know, I don't think uh, you know many things satisfy me, but you know, if I can come in and um, you know do what I do best, um, be a great teammate to these guys, and um, want to mo- motivate them to get better, and uh, you know have them motivate me to get better, I think is you know um, going to be something that you know I would look at as a, a successful rookie year for myself. Thank you, Eddie Sepko. Oh, you're up next. Go ahead, Eddie. Hey, I'm wondering what, uh, how did a Minnesota kid get out to Stanford and have you heard from uh, Dwight Powell yet uh, after being drafted? Uh, yeah, so I got out to Stanford um, just because I thought it was a perfect fit for me as far as academics and, um, you know, athletics go. You know, I thought it was a perfect um, you know, situation for me uh, to come in and be successful right away. 
Um, you know, I haven't talked to Dwight yet, but, you know, I have his contact information. I think that's, you know, pretty cool that we're going to have, you know, two Stanford guys on one team. You know, that's pretty, pretty, pretty the same thing. Thank you. Andy Grader, next question. Go ahead, Andy. Hi, Tyrell. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, there were uh, four Minnesotans taken in the first 41 picks. Uh, how much pride do you have in that, and what does that say about the talent in the state? Um, you know, to have us, you know, all be selected tonight is an extreme blessing. Um, you know, I congratulate those guys. Uh, you know, it does a lot for the state of Minnesota as far as, you know, recognition. Um, you know, I think Minnesota's on the come up as far as talent goes in the basketball world. Um, you know, I say I hope the world, you know, kind of wakes up and realizes that now. Thank you. Kevin Gray is the next question. Go ahead, Kevin. Tyrell, congratulations on being drafted to the Dallas Mavericks. Welcome to the city of Dallas, what have you done as far as your preparation during this pandemic and to get yourself ready for this opportunity uh, to be a part of this Mavericks roster in your mind? You know, I think the biggest thing for me um, in getting preparing myself for, you know, this big step is just um, obviously adding size and strength, um, but also improving, you know, my mental, my mental habits. Um, you know, I started doing meditation and, and reading books. And um, I think that did a lot for me as far as, you know, being prepared and keeping a level head. Um, you know, now obviously this is a crazy night as far as emotions go, but, um, you know, when I wake up tomorrow morning, uh, you know, I'm gonna be ready to work. Thank you so much. And congratulations once again. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? Tyrell? No, oh, looks like that's it. Thank you very much. And congratulations, Tyrell. Thank you.